guys, it's Jennifer from Craft Forest. Today I wanted to show you how to make the cutest, cutest paper dolls ever, ever, ever. Uh, we kind of love them. And we even made ours into cats and dogs. Adorable. And I wanted to show you how to make your own. We actually made it really easy for you because we made some templates. Cute little body um, that you can completely customize and make your own. And little cutouts for clothing that you can use with either charm packs or fabric squares. Makes it totally easy, really fun for the kids or for you uh, to play with. So let me show you what we need. We'll cut them up and we'll make some, okay? All right, so we have uh, some printable uh, templates that you can actually get from our website and we'll include the link for you. And we did a little body here and then we did some dresses and then we did uh, little pants and shorts too. And then I cut out here if you wanted to put your child's face or if you wanted to do any, any sort of other image, you can actually cut it out perfectly and put it right here on the head. So we're going to cut out our body and then we'll cut out the dress template and we'll decorate them. All right, so I'm just going to grab some scissors. I printed these on cardstock um, so that it gives a little bit of weight to them. But you could print them on regular paper and just attach them to, to cardboard. Or it would be really fun too to print them actually right onto fabric. So I'll cut these out. Okay. And I'm going to cut this body out and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so now I've got all my pieces cut out. I've got my body and I've got my dress that I'm going to use as my template with my fabric. So I'm going to move her and put her over here. And I'm using uh, Pastel Pop by Michael Miller, this adorable charm pack set. Great colors, uh, some lime green, blacks and whites, really, really cute. And since we're doing a theme, I thought the kitty would be perfect, so if we do a little cat dress. So for these, because you're going to put it right on, you can either use a pencil or you can use um, uh, disappearing ink in, in your marker and just trace them through. So I'm going to trace right on the front of mine. And we're just going to cut around it. Go. It's going to trace right on the front of my fabric. And I try to get as close to the edge as possible so that way I have some scraps and I can use them for other projects as well. Um, cute little decoration to make a little belt or um, I kind of want to make purses for them. I want to make all kinds of little accessories for them. So I'm just going to trace around here. Oops, I got a little close to the edge there. And then we're going to grab our scissors. And we're just going to cut around. And I'm really not too worried about fraying on this. If you wanted to, you could stitch them, but, but you don't have to. Um, these are just for fun. And we're going to use a little bit of school glue to attach them. And so I actually put a little bit on my finger and just ran it along the edge too, just to make sure that I didn't get too much fraying on my clothing. All right, so I'm going to keep cutting around the dress. I love their little body shapes, how it just pops out here at the end. We can celebrate their curves. All right, so we'll cut down at the bottom here. And then I'm just going to use some school glue to make these completely kid-friendly projects. And put a little school glue right on the body. And we've got our arms kind of tucked around back here, so you just want to make sure that you place your dress so that it uh, kind of gives your arms some space. And then I used mine like the old style paper dolls where I could kind of have a little bit to turn over the side. Looks like she might need to slip with this one. You can actually see through her dress a little bit, but that's okay. We could do a, a second layer if we wanted to, too. So I'm going to flip her over, and I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue up here on the shoulders and fold this over. There we go. And she's dressed. Adorable, adorable little dress that we made out of um, cute cat fabric. And you could use scraps. You could use anything that you have. And now the really fun part is decorating it. So we could grab some buttons. We could grab some stickers. We've got some jewels here. I think it would be fun to maybe give her a, a little corsage. And maybe kind of put some buttons on her dress. And we can just use school glue for these two. I think I'll use these guys. We'll just do a few little buttons here, going down her dress. Here we go. Um, maybe those guys. So I'm just using um, foam kind of little stickers, adhesive ones, to make it really quick. And we'll put these guys on. Maybe we'll put these up here like they're going to be part of a necklace. And you could just keep decorating. And you could cut out a little face. We could maybe do... 
little puppy dog. How adorable is that? So, so cute. I just printed these. Um, I went and did a quick Google Images search for free um, dog and cat faces and found these and cut them out and um, really fun. These were about three by five uh, when you're doing your printer settings. We could grab some Sharpies and we could give her some little shoes. I just traced here. We could give her some little ballet flats. Maybe we'll do a little bow. There we go. And fill those in. Maybe she wants some tights too. We could do polka dot tights. So cute. I love them. I absolutely love them. Here's one that we finished earlier, a little friend for him. Um, she has a little necklace that we did with some jewels. I put a little pocket on. Matching dresses. How cute is that? Dogs and cats getting along in matching dresses. My daughter made some too, and she had a great time. We actually used her face. So let me show you this one. This is Lola. We just cut hers out actually on regular paper and attached it some, to some cardboard so it gave it a, a little bit of substance. She cut a little dress here, made a belt, a necklace. She put some hair on, so cute. And then here's one that she made um, using the shorts and the shirt uh, template. And she just colored the face here. I love her little shoes on both of them. It's so fun. And the even better part is that it kept her busy for probably the greater part of an hour, which is amazing. She's six. That doesn't happen very often. So I think that immediately makes this project a success. If your six-year-old wants to do it, it's a win. These were so fun to make. We had a great time. And I even played with them a little bit when she wasn't around. The cat faces, they cracked me up. I couldn't help it. So go to our blog, download the templates, and make your own. And we'll see you guys back here next week for an all-new video from Craft Forest. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.